still here. And uh, ancient Han, uh, people used to name the things with six. Uh, for example, Liu Yu means uh, six kinks of design related to death, ear, eye, mouth, and nose. And Liu Qing means uh, father, mother, elder brother, younger brother, wife, and son. This is called Liu Qing, okay? And the Liu Chu means the six domestic animals, uh, pig, ox, uh, ghost, horse, foal, and dogs. And the people always make some paper cards uh, like this one uh, to show they have a good harvest uh, in the domestic animals, okay? Which show they live a very happy life. And the other common saying with six are Shen Huai Liu Jia, this one, uh, which means be uh, pregnant, okay, be pregnant. And uh, Liu Shen Wu Zhu means uh, someone is out of sweets and uh, feel nervous, okay. And uh, Liu Shi Jia Zi means a cycle of 60 years. Okay. And uh, the number seven, T, uh, is a mysterious numbers, not only in China, but also in the world. Uh, the saying, Nu Wa Zhao Zhao Ren, okay, uh, goes that the world has been cre uh, created in the seven, seventh day. Uh, so they are seven days in a week. And uh, this, as described in Chinese mythology, uh, cock is created on the first day, dog the second day, goat the third day, pig the fourth day, ox the fifth day, horse the sixth day, and human beings are created on the seventh day, okay? And the first four people work mm -hmm. in the four direction while Ox farms on land and uh, horses fly in the sky, and the holy human beings are in the center. Okay. And there's a, a, there's a popular tradition festival related to Qi. It's called Qi Xi. Okay. Qi Xi, uh, the seventh evening on the seventh month when the uh, herb boy and the women girl are supposed to meet. And nowadays, uh, uh, Qi has regarded as Chinese Valentine's Day. It's a love story between the herb boy and the weaving girl. Okay? That's a nice story. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so when people ask you, what's the Chinese Valentine's Day? You need to remember it's called Qi Xi, okay? Qi Xi, yeah. Chinese Valentine's Day. Yeah, Qi Xi, okay. Chinese Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Qi also makes many collocated sayings in language too. For example, um, Qi Qing, the seven humor emotions, which refers to joy, anger, sorrow, fear, love, haste, and design. And the qi qiao, the seven aptitudes in human head. For example, eyes, ears, uh, nostrils, and the mouth. And the qi uh, qi qi uh, means uh, of, offer sacrifice to the dead every seven days for a, a consecutive seven weeks, okay? And uh, uh, Qi is also related to, with human life. The seventh, uh, the seventh year is the time for children to go to school and for they to grow uh, permanent teeth. So there is a saying called Qi Sui Kan Lao. Uh, the meaning is the whole life can be seen uh, uh, and can be judged from the behavior 
on the seventh year of a person. Okay, 七岁看老 And in the old days, uh, people always talk about seven important daily necessities in their life. They are tai mi you yan jiang chu cha, uh, which is uh, in English is wood, rice, oil, salt, sauce, vinegar, and tea. They are seven important daily necessities in people's life. Okay. And the qi often goes with ba uh, uh, in form, have many uh, negative uh, impressions. Okay. For example, tou qi means tou means the first. So tou qi means the seventh day after one's death. Okay. And qi ling ba luo means scatter some, something here and there. Okay, like this one. And qi ping ba to means uh, piece uh, together. And qi shang ba xia means uh, be agitated. Okay. And qi shou ba jiao which means everyone lending a hand. Okay. And this one, qi zui ba she, uh, means with everyone trying to get a word in, uh, all talking at once. For example, in the rest uh, period, you guys uh, have a chat, very warm chat. You can see you are okay? <laughs> okay, and here we will come to ba. Uh, as I have said that eight, is the favor uh, is favored by most Chinese people as a symbol of joy and the celebration. Okay, and in the past, for wedding or other celebrations, people will always have eight kinds of food on a small plate and cook a uh, cook eight dishes called ba cai ba die. Okay, it's a very uh, delicious. Okay. And the people like to name things with eight. For example, ba bao fan, eight treasures rice pudding. This one called ba bao fan. It's often uh, ate in the Chinese New Year. Okay. And the ba xian zhuo, this one, the eight immortal table. Uh, it's an old fashioned squared table for eight people. Okay. And the ba gua, this one, you must know this one. Yeah, it's a called the eight kilograms. Okay. Uh, ba xian, the eight immortals in Taoist mythology. And the ba bao shan, it's a mountain's name, the eight treasures mountains. And the other thing uh, are ba mian ling long, which means. Um, be smooth and slick in establish social relations. Ba mian wei feng means a commanding represents. And this one, ba bai zhi jiao, swore brotherhood. Okay, ba bai zhi jiao. Do you guys have found your ba bai zhi jiao? Find your sword brotherhood? Mm -hmm. No? No one? Okay, hope you can find one. Okay, and this one, ba jiu bu li shi, okay, ba jiu bu li shi means uh, pretty close, okay, very near, okay, ba jiu bu li shi. Uh, and ba zi hai mei yi pie er, means things aren't even start to take shape yet, okay. The unformed one. Mm -hmm. okay. And the and the today eight is the number highly recognized and popular used by people as eight pronounces like fa. Okay, how to say eight in Chinese? How to say eight in Chinese? Fa. 
Ba. Ba. Okay. And the this one, make fortune. The pronunciation is fa, very similar, right? So that's the reason why people like eight uh, number, okay? And uh, because of the supposed auspicious of people will often choose and uh, uh, pay large sum for the number eight. Uh, and eight are considered to be lucky for uh, the, for people's street address, residence, uh, room number, car number, telephone number, etc. And we have said that yao ba, yi ba, right? Uh, eight, uh, 28, 188, okay? Because, uh, uh, because I have said that yi uh, can also pronounce as yao, okay? And uh, yao pronounce the, the same pronunciation is similar like yao. So yao ba means you will be make fortune. That's why people like yao ba. And eight ba sounds like fa make a fortune. Uh, it conveying the wishes that people have for a good fortune. So people like uh, eighty eight. Okay, and also the 186 pronounced like uh, yao follow, be sure to make a fortune. Okay, so people like this number. And uh, for instance, uh, a telephone number with uh, all uh, digits being eight was sold for uh, US dollars uh, 270 uh, in Chengdu. And a man in Hangzhou offered to sell his license a plate reading uh, A 888888 with 58 for RMB 1 million, which is about uh, 100 and uh, let me see, million. million. That is one leg and 64,000. Yeah, 164 million US dollars. It's quite a large of uh, sum of money. Okay. That is 0.16 for Laoshi. 1.164 million. Oh yeah, I make the uh, I make a mistake, right? One. Uh, well, one hundred six four million. Yeah. That's no, this number is way for us. That's not me. And here, $1,064. Mm -hmm. Not $164. It's $164,000. Yeah, $164,000. Yeah, $164,000. Is equal to 1 million Chinese RMB? Yeah, 1 million. 1 million RMB. Okay. Oh, okay, let's get it. By one. Now, I've got a question. Mm -hmm. What question? Yeah, does this number is really work or people just do it because they think they'll get some like? Yes. Yes. In Chinese, we call it Liang Hao, the beautiful number. You need when you use the uh, beautiful Liang Hao, the beautiful number Liang Hao. You need to pay to buy this number. Okay. Otherwise, okay. otherwise you can't get it. I don't want that. Also. Uh, it's okay. Okay. And uh, here, nine. We will go to learn the number nine. Nine is the biggest of the cardinal mm. number. And pronounced as the jiu, okay. Number nine in Chinese is is jiu, right? And this one is the, has the same pronunciation. This Chinese character means for long, so it's always it has always been regarded as a lucky number. For example, like number eight. Yeah, since ancient times, number nine jiu 
uh, in the people's mind has been the highest and the most. So Asians, Asians like to use Jiu Tian, this Chinese character, for the description of, uh, of the mm -hmm. heaven, mm -hmm. nine, nine, nine layer sky means the whole heaven, okay? And the Jiu Zhou uh, means the whole earth, okay? The whole country. And the Jiu Xiao Yun Wai uh, means, uh, how to say, the beyond the highest mm, heaven, yeah, far, far away. Uh, be, uh, for example, if you, mm, if you met a very, um, if you may feel very uh, angry or mad, uh, nervous, uh, some, some, something make you happy, you can say, I have forget that unhappy since uh, Jiu Xiao Yun Wai. 我已经把它忘记到九霄云外了, which means uh, I have forget that thing far, far away. Okay. 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 And uh, uh, and uh, emperors in ancient China also like Jiu because they wish to be in power for long. As I have said, Jiu has the uh, as has the same pronunciation for for long that Jiu, yeah. okay so emperors they are also called Jiu Chong Tian okay emperors in ancient times because they are the sons of heaven who enjoy the supreme power and the all powers worship Jiu because they wish a political st uh, stability so that they can be in power long, okay? And so in parallel like to wear Jiu Long Pao, this one, Jiu Long Pao, uh, and the emperor Rong Le in Ming Dynasty built the nine cities uh, gate in Beijing, this one. You can see nine dragons here. Yeah, and the, yeah, this is called the Jiu Long Bi, Jiu Long Bi, a war with nine dragons. And the forbidden city has been constructed with nine roofs, roofs beams, and, uh, 80, uh, and uh, 18, 18 columns. And they are nine steps for multiples of for the imperial palace. And in the palace, they are all together a total of 9,999 rooms, okay? My gosh. Yeah. So, 10,000 rooms. Yeah. All, <laughs> the this, palace. all this is the emperor wish, wish their uh, politi uh, political power uh, long and long, okay? For forever, okay? And uh, the emperor also likes to divide the his minister and the official into nine classes. Okay. And there are many other uh, sayings with nine. Uh, for example, Jiu Quan means the, not the next word and uh, the grief. And this one, Jiu Niu Yi Mao means a drop in the ocean. And Jiu Si Shen, Jiu Si Shen means a narrow escape from death. Okay. And San Jiao Jiu Liu means uh, derogatory <coughs> people of all sorts. And Jiu Niu Er Hu Zhi Li means tremendous efforts. Okay. Uh, Hello, she is the I negative. Can, you can repeat, Hello, you she. can use this phrase to make a sentence. Uh, someone told me, uh, it's difficult to finish your homework. And then you can see, 我花了九牛二虎之力做作业, which means I uh, actually, I make tremendous efforts to finish my homework, okay? And there are also are the uh, a popular saying with the multiples of nine, for example, uh, uh, skill in various types of combat, 
the lowest depths of hills. And the Nu Da Shi Ba Bie, uh, there's no telling what a girl will look like when she grows up. Okay. And uh, uh, this one we usually uh, used for girls. Uh, they became beaut more beautiful than uh, he youth age. Okay. And San Shi Liu Ji So Wei Shang means. Uh, Six strategies in military tactics refers to very strategies and the tricks. Okay, and the uh, Bian. Do you guys know this character, Sun Wukong? The Monkey King. <laughs> yeah, he can. He can make. Oh, uh, Lucy, I watch a movie called The Journey to the West, and the Mon Monkey King play a very crucial role in the. Oh, movie. good, good, yeah. It's so cool. You can see him in your uh, in in her, well, no. and he can make the seven seventy two transformation. Okay, and uh, this one Ti Shi Er Hang means all sorts of occupations. Okay, now comes to the number ten. Uh, oh, you know the Han, the Han people worship ten. Uh, the top oh, of nice. even numbers, which implies perfect and uh, satisfaction. Okay, and uh, so there's a Chinese saying, "Shi quan shi mei," means uh, uh, a person or a thing is perfect in every way. Okay, and Shi Zhou Nian, one means a tenth anniversary celebration. Okay. And the shi implies many, much, or complete, or full. And the many common thing with tian uh, carry uh, that meaning. For example, shi fen uh, means very, fully, extremely. Uh, if I say ni shi fen hao, means you are perfect. You are extremely good, OK? And the shi zu means pure and downright. Okay. And this one, yi mu shi hang, means take in tie, 10 lines at a glance, uh, which means you read the books very rapidly. Okay. And shi e bu she means guilty or unpayable uh, evil. Shi na jiu wen means 90% sure. Yeah, uh, we can use this phrase to make a sentences. If you um, if you perform well in the class and submit uh, your homework in time, and you uh, finish your uh, middle assignment and final assignment to get a good uh, final score is. It's 90 yeah, and can get a high mark. Okay. And this one is means a means, uh, a student's long years of hard study. Okay. This one is means a most urgent thing. Okay. And today, today, uh, uh, 10 is often used to sum up the work of a year. For example, 10 best singer of a year, 10 best national sports star of the year, 10 most important national news in 2020, the most mm -hmm. important world news in 2020. Okay, mm -hmm. sum up the word, work of a year. And when the new China was founded in 1949. There was a 10-year anniversary, 10 anniversary celebration for the founding of a nation in 1959, which was big and grand. And the Han people do things in that way because they like round numbers and the round the figures, which in our mind means perfect and celebration. And here, uh, hundred is a ten 
times of uh, 10 and the thousand qian is the hundred of time of uh, 10 and uh, one uh, 10,000 is the thousand time of 10. So bai qian wan has been used uh, very frequently in a language to form many vivid uh, expressions. You can see here, bai, okay, uh, means all, a lot, the whole. For example, bai ban, uh, in every possible way, bai ban. Uh, I have uh, reminded you guys to submit your homework uh, in every pos uh, possible way. <laughs> this, <laughs> and the bai huo means uh, general, uh, general goods. Okay. And the bai xi means the common people. And the bai yi bai shen means all obedience. Okay. And this one bai zhe bu nao means be indomitable. Okay. And the bai zhang bai shen means be ever uh, victorious. You fight, you win. Once you fight, you win. Yeah. And in uh, expressions, qian doesn't mean uh, uh, the exact number, but again, it means a lot. Uh, for example, <coughs> qian gu, eternal, qian jing, uh, uh, a, a lot of gold. And this character is of is also used to refer one. It, it's a name for one's daughter. Okay. And Qian Li Ma, wind steady. Okay. And similarly, there are many uh, scenes with Qian, and Qian often with goes by. For example, um, Qian Pian Yi Lu, stereotyped, and Qian Qi Bai Guai means all kinds of strange things, okay? And Qian Fang Bai Ji means uh, every conceivable way, okay? Uh, here, one. One is a, a simplified of one, and which original means a, a scorpion, and the other uh, scholar think one is the name of uh, a, a king, a kind of dance, but but one, the symbol form, uh, in fact, appears even in the times of warrior state, and uh, one is a, a very great number, and the common expression, one sui, it's a, a just to an April, okay, so if you watch an uh, ancient history TV movie, you can often uh, hear a, a say, a, a, a jazz, one sui, one sui, one one sui, okay? This is a greeting to an emperor, okay? And the expression with one, again, doesn't mean the exactly, uh, exact number. But the but means a lot, or or the greatest number. For example, one uh one nan okay one nan means extremely difficult. For example, uh it's extremely difficult for you for you uh, guys to understand all these Chinese characters uh, in this time. So you can say um one nan okay. And uh, one shi tong means you know all, okay? Uh, before this class, uh, this uh, uh, student contacted me. He used frequently Chinese to uh, communicate with me. So uh, I think maybe she is a one shi tong in Chinese, yeah. And the bai qian wan, often go together to make up many uh, ex uh, exagger uh, exaggerative expression, okay? 
，for example， 百万 ，for example， 千言万语 ，OK， 千言万语 ，thousands of thousands of words，OK，and、okay? 千军万马 ，a powerful army， 万水千山，呃、uh, ，the cheers of a long and arduous journey，OK，and、okay? 万紫千红 ，a blaze of color。This is to express their a、uh, large numbers of, and、uh, in the mind of Chinese people, Lin, okay, which means zero, zero, uh, is the same as、uh, Arabic number zero, which means nothing, okay, but in fact. Zero means far more than that sense.、Uh, it implies the、uh, wither trees and the grass, and thus has an image of loneliness,、uh, declining, and the death. For example, dying means declining and the death. The the flower is declining, and the gulling means loneliness. Okay. And when and when Lin means the falling rain, uh, in then it means some little um piece and not complete. For example, Lin Xin, okay, uh, Lin San, Lin Sui. All this uh means very little, okay. And in the expression of Lin Qian, this one Lin Qian, um.、Uh, It means a、uh, money on minor uh, push, uh, purchase, okay. And uh, uh, 零售 this one means sell retail, okay. 零活 means odd number. And as a number, um, zero 零 uh has the meaning of more than nothing. For example, when the、uh, temperature says 零度 it doesn't mean nothing,、uh, but means the start of temperature. Okay, and similarly, when we say 零时 uh, it doesn't mean no hour, but means the start of a new day. And when people we say the baby is 零岁 it doesn't mean the 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 baby has no age. It means the birth of a baby. The start of a new life. Okay, so Lin、uh, sometimes、uh, means the <clears throat> beginning. Okay, a newborn baby for Lin Shui. Yeah. And today, how how she? Uh huh. How can we remember this plenty of meaning just for one particular number? It's quite hard. <laughs>、uh, actually, you can. I think you can repeat this. Chinese character and、uh, find、mm. some situation to use it. Maybe practice, practice and practice and practice, and you will keep that in your mind. Yeah, that's the only way I see. Also, <laughs> we have to practice like hell to remember all of this stuff. Yes, yes, because it's a、mm. long way to learn Mandarin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, today there are many. A、uh, popular saying with zero ling, which are especially、uh, seen in new reports.、Uh, for example, ling zai hai, which means no disaster, and ling wu zan, which means which means zero pollution, and ling shi ye means no one being unplanted, and ling li ling zero rate. Okay, and.、Uh, Here we co let's come to the boost boost words of、uh, numbers in China. It's an interesting part. Finally, we we come this we come to this one. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can first you can pronounce、uh, these words uh in Chinese. Let's 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 pronounce this. Uh, one together. How to say? 一
Sam is Sam is Sushi. Great. Is Sam is And let me let yeah let me tell you, uh, this Chinese character is is very similar, right? This Chinese this phrase means the whole life. So this number pronounces like the whole life okay and this one let's pronounce it together U -R -R -Lin. Zero. Yeah. U -R -Lin, right and this one this, this trans character very similar right which means I love you. Right? How to say I love you too. And this one, wu er yi, pronounces like wu ai ni, right? And then it also means I love you. I love you. So this together, let's repeat. Let's repeat in Chinese. Yi san yi. Si wu er ling pronounced like yi shen yi shi wo ai ning, which means I love you in my whole life. Okay? Mathematical, mathematical way of saying love. <laughs> so this, this two yi san. E. I love you for my whole life. R E. Okay. So you did you get that? Yes, yeah, like, sir. Yes. Great. Okay. Who I mean? Mm -hmm. Lashi, is it secret one or everybody know about it in China? Sorry. <laughs> is it the sentence is secret one or everybody is known? In China, obviously, the Chinese people know about this. Sorry, I didn't get yeah. you because the network not another stable. Rabi wants to say that that's every Chinese people know the meaning of this kind of. Yeah, every nearly everybody, especially for the youth, for the young people, they know this the meaning. Laoshi, how to say I love you too? Why I need. Why oh, I need a Why I need a bomb? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> why? <me? laughs> wow. He's, he's so funny, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And then let's continue here. Oh, he gets lots of romantic boy who are really fond and about yeah. love. You are a naughty, oh you are naughty boy, yeah. You make funny with me. <laughs> yeah. Here, this one. <laughs> this one, let's continue. Man, I'm just going flat court to see it. How to say, <laughs> guys, guys, let's come back. Let's come back. Okay, okay, okay. let's continue, Lashi. Let's continue. Uh-huh. How to say this word? Work from nine to... Nine nine six, right? Uh, nine nine six. Uh, nine nine six work schedule, nine, which means work from nine a.m. to nine p.m. Six days a week. A week. Uh, nowadays, many youths in internet companies work a nine nine six schedule. <laughs> uh, there is a saying well, by. See, I had heard about the five two. Nine to five, the red phrase. <laughs> uh, this is the nine nine schedule, nine nine six schedule. Okay. Oh, okay. Nine to nine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> actually, uh, this is a saying by Jack Ma. So he said, if you do not do nine nine six when you are young, uh, when will you? Uh, do you think never having to work 996 in your life is an honor to boast about? Uh, if you don't put out more time or 
energy than others. How can you achieve the success you want? How can you uh, achieve you? the success you want? Yeah. Yeah, so, well, she, <laughs> in that case, I always follow Elon Musk. L like he preferred to work young people like 18 hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh, she, 18 hours. He's the alien, bro. Don't talk about him. Yeah. Yeah, he's super I, natural. I know, I know it's the same. I really like Elon Musk. I, yeah. I, I know. Uh, yeah, I get, yeah, I get you. I get you. Um, I, I think Jack Ma is not is not one to encourage people to do the nine nine six work schedule. But he want what he encourage people is that to do more, yeah, yeah, to do more and to, to more. pay more time and energy to do things, yeah. Then you can bring make your uh, efforts come, make your dream come true, yeah. And uh, uh, so if you understand the nine nine six schedule, it will be easy for you guys to understand the zero zero seven schedule. It means work from mm, work 0 from a.m. to 12 p.m. 12 p.m. is a day. My. Uh, what zero uh, it means no rest. It, it's start of a day. Yeah. yeah. So it comes, does that zero means it's start of the day? It's, it's not common in China, but it may occur in some startups companies. Okay. So this one, uh, how to say this one? Liu, 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 Liu. Liu. Yeah. and pronounce like this one, Liu, and uh, uh, it it means praise somebody mm. when someone did a great job or things. Uh, do you remember I sent a message in our group yeah. when I said? Uh, someone did uh, did a great homework this time. I sent the picture like this one. Do you remember that? Yeah. Okay. So praise you guys to do a good job in your homework. Okay. Lashi, <laughs> it means satanic number in Western culture. What number is six? Six. Table six. Use this triple six means triple six means praise wow. to somebody when he liu, did liu, a great liu. job. Liu, liu, liu. Yeah. Liu, liu, liu. Lucky, lucky number? Not the lucky number, just the two. Lucky Please number is eight. excellent. Lucky job. number is eight, nine. <laughs> yeah, eight, eight, six, six, like that. The lucky number. Okay. And this one, how to say? Chi Chi like, uh -huh. Chi pronounce, yeah, pronounce like Chi Chi Yeah, pronounce like Chi Go to a pub, okay? Yeah, Chi Chi mm -hmm. Go to a pub. Yeah. And <laughs> this one, having party and consume alcohol. <laughs> and this one, double eleven. What's double eleven? It's a Chinese expression of November 11th. So what does it, does it mean? Single, single day? Yeah. yeah, right. But oh, November 11th. Promotional it, day on November 11th. Yeah, but November 11th in China has more meanings than that. First, I'd like you guys mm. to show a video and you may have a rough idea what's Double eleven in Chinese, okay. Okay. Hey, Razib. Yeah, bro. Okay. What's up? Guys, can you see the screen? Yes. Yeah. Lush. Yes, Lush. <laughs> In about five weeks, I'm going back to America to spend time with family for Christmas. The only thing is, you know, I, uh, I want to find my family and friends presents for Christmas before I go home. Advertisement on puts. Online shopping. Yeah, I've heard of the Apple Valley shopping festival here. 
able to find everything you need at a great price. Good products, good prices. Tell me, I want to know. <coughs> With the help of my colleagues, I quickly learned about the Double Lemon Shopping Festival, which was created 10 years ago by Alibaba, China's e-commerce giant. The festival falls on November 11th, also known as Singles Day, originally created by Chinese youngsters to celebrate being single. Over the years, Double Lemon has grown to be a national extravaganza for Chinese shoppers. E-commerce players led by Alibaba offer massive discounts on everything from snacks to electronics. And sales records have been smashed year after year. Polly! Polly! I'm sorry. I've been glued to my phone. I'm uh, doing some online shopping. Did you find any good Lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff, but believe it or not, there's a lot of good imported products too. I heard kind of an international Yeah, it was the second annual one. It was uh, last week in Shanghai. Uh, it was great. A lot of foreigners visited China to check out its open market. Uh, I think they were really impressed. The CIIE is the world's largest and first import export. At this year's event, 10 countries announced the opening of country flagship stores on Alibaba's team wall to cash in on Chinese consumers rising out for imported goods, buying China's huge market and consumption of more than 22,000 overseas products from 200 countries and regions participated in this year's double weapon shopping spree, according to Alibaba. My orders have been placed. China's online shopping industry is huge and because of this, many overseas companies are interested in tapping into the country's market that is opening wider to the world. China is the world's second largest economy and is also the world's second largest importer of goods. The country has pledged to continue to broaden market access, stimulate the potential for increased imports, and explore new horizons of opening up, which may indicate even better opportunities for foreign companies during such events as the Double Eleven Shopping Spring and more. So, did you guys get what the Double Eleven mean in China? Lao what is Import Expo? Yeah, great. Actually, uh, uh, number 11, uh, uh, Shi Yi, we say in Chinese, is the Double Eleven Shopping Carnivals, which refers to the online promotional day of November oh. 11th, okay? And it's- Alibaba is the first company who began this type of festival. Yeah, Alibaba. Yeah. Alibaba, Alibaba took Taobao, JD.com. It's originally from the online Amazon. promotion activity uh, held oh. by Taobao more, okay? And uh, on November 11th, 2009 and nine. And at that time, yeah, 2009. Yeah. Uh, and at, at that time, the numbers of uh, uh, goods involved and in the promotion efforts were limited, mm -hmm. but the turnover far existed the expected in effect. Therefore, November 11th became the fixed day for Tianmao Taobao to hold large scale promotional activities. Then, Shuang Shi Yi, the double eleven, has become the annual event of the China's e-commerce industry and uh, gradually it affects the international e-commerce industry. Okay. So similarly, uh, if you guys know, uh, know get the idea of what the double eleven mean, so you can guess what the double twelve mean. It it's also means the double 12 shopping carnival, okay? So double 11 is at the corner. Are you, uh, <laughs> did you guys make prepare to shopping? Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay. We'll get a lot of discount in November yes. 11. <laughs> yes. So why shouldn't we buy the 
you know, clothes and other stuff. You can, you can, uh, you, you get can a huge discount. Your 购物车 in your uh, uh, prepared, and then uh, make account uh, how to buy them. Uh, what what uh, what account is? Yeah, oh shit. Number eleven, I will buy many of the things. Then I will sell it in November thirteen or fifteen. Then I will be billion. Great. Already start to video. Okay, great. And here I want to draw your special attention about uh the number one hundred and six. Forty minutes plus, okay. Uh, one hundred and eight. Okay. Uh, it's not the booth words, but a number four of cultural implication. Uh, first they are one thousand one hundred and eight heroes of Liangshan. In a famous classic novel, the uh, Water Mountain, Shui Hu Zhuang. Second, the famous uh, temples such as uh, temples uh, Han Shan at Suzhou, Temple Longhua at Shanghai, uh, strike the bears one hundred and eight times on the Chinese New Year Eve. Okay, and maybe you guys may may ask why should strike the bears one hundred and eight. Times right, and uh, one explanation is that according to Buddhism, there are one hundred and eight kinds of troubles in a world. So if you want to eliminate them, you can become a Buddha. And the other explanation is that according to Taoism, there are thirty six Tiangan and seven eight. A seven two di zhi. So who are generals from heaven and hell? And these there are one hundred and eight uh uh constellations. That's why uh they strikes the bears for one hundred and eight times. Okay. Okay. Let's come to the homework. What's your favorite number, and does it has some special meaning to you? Uh, the good is the good news is that you don't need to submit this homework to me, but you need oh, to. Oh, thanks God! Thanks, Valshi. Thanks God. <laughs> but thank but, you, Valshi. Okay. But uh, pay attention to that. You need to make uh, prepare your answer and then to your next class. Okay. Now she will. Now she wouldn't understand. Hey, please everybody turn off your mic so we can hear what loud loud she was saying. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to repeat okay. our homework? Uh, like we Lashi, don't have to everyone. Now she and muted yeah, yeah. Each everyone first. Guys, uh, uh, you can mute, 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 mute yourself. Okay, let's repeat my uh, the homework. Okay, this homework you don't need to submit it to me. Yeah. And the second one oh. is, uh, uh, you need to prepare your answer, and then share it to your classmates in next class. Okay, Lao Shi, we go. Okay. Bye, Lao Shi. Good. Serious. Uh. Uh.